Today we're going to use Coigo bots to create a cryptocurrency trading bot using the well-known quantitative trading strategy known as grid trading. Coigo bots allows you to create trading bots on all major crypto exchanges using a number of predefined strategies, including grid trading, arbitrage, swing trading, and more. Most of these trading bot strategies in Coigo bots also have the source code fully available to view or modify so you can know exactly what your trading bot is doing. To get started, we'll go to the My Strategies page to see all of the trading bot strategies currently available. Here we can see a number of trading bot strategies, including static midpoint swing trading, a simple market maker, simple arbitrage, and more. Today we're going to use the Spot Grid Trader, a well-known quantitative strategy that systematically submits buy and sell orders at predefined price levels. Grid trading is typically considered to perform best in volatile markets when prices fluctuate within a specific range. So I'm going to go ahead and create a trading bot using this strategy. I'll name my bot Grid Trader. Here we can choose an execution interval. This is how often the bot will reanalyze market data, submit, manage, or cancel orders appropriately. So here we're going to recheck every five seconds. We're going to run this bot on the Kraken Exchange. We want to use the Ethereum USD market. Looks like it's been floating between about 2100 and 2000. So we're going to run the spot on Ethereum USD. Order amount of 0.1 Ethereum for each order. And here we can select the grid type. I'm going to select geometric. So the different types of grids define how the prices are spaced out within the grid. We have a geometric grid where each grid level is spaced apart by a fixed percentage amount. For example, the previous grid level rate plus 5%. Whereas the arithmetic grid, each grid level is spaced apart by a flat amount. For example, the previous grid level plus 5. So here we're going to do a lowest grid price, we'll do 1950, and the highest grid price of 2150. A number of grid levels will set to 8. So this means this trading bot is going to open up 8 orders between 1950 and 2150 on the Ethereum USD market on Kraken. Each order will be for 0.1 ETH. And we're going to use the geometric grid type. Here we can see the trading fees automatically filled in from Kraken. I'm going to go ahead and create the bot. All right, now that we've created a trading bot, we can run it. We'll go to run. Here we can set the max runtime. We'll just use the default of four hours. And right now we're going to use test mode, which is paper trading. This is not going to use our real accounts or money. We can supply a fake balance for the trading bot to use, and it'll simulate orders. This allows us to see how the trading bot will operate without using real money. So we're going to say that we have one Ethereum, $1,000 in our fake wallets right now. We're going to go ahead and run the bot. As the bot is starting, we can see the activity feed over here on the left. This is going to give us constant updates about what the trading bot is doing. In the middle, we have balances of the bot, including the starting balances and the current balances. Down here, we have any orders that have been submitted by this bot. And on the right, we have the market fees, which is the latest prices on any markets that this bot is currently monitoring. All right, so it looks like we've opened up a number of orders now. If we look on the left side, we can see the activity log. It says that we're currently configured to open a grid between 1950 and 2150 with eight grid levels, with an interval between each grid level of 1.4%. So if we look at the grid, we can see that it's currently constructed a grid of eight orders between 1950 and 2150. And the last price is 2053. So the last price is currently right between these two. So you can see at any grid levels below the last price, the bot is open to buy order. At any grid levels above the last price, the bot is open to sell order. And as these orders fill, the bot will automatically and continuously reopen new orders at these grid levels in an attempt to profit off of the volatility within this range.
Now we're going to go ahead and stop this bot. Now if we look, we can see all the intervals that the bot has run. We can see while it's starting, subscribing to market data. We can see the first interval where it submitted two orders. The second interval submitted two more orders. And the fourth interval, two more again. And it looks like it hit the max number of orders, open orders that we configured during the bot configuration. So it's not going to submit any more orders until the existing orders change. And then when the bot is preparing to stop, we can see that it's unsubscribing from market data, canceling any remaining open orders, and finally it stopped. Now we go back and we can run the spot again, or we can see the list of all the times that we've run the spot. So we can see any orders submitted for the spot run the configuration that we use for this bot run, the starting and ending balances, the reason the bot was stopped, which is that I clicked the stop this bot button. You can also view the latest run activity logs. So all the activity logs for that time that we ran the bot are available here. So we can go back and see what exactly the bot was doing. If we, this can be helpful for reconfiguring the bot or just understanding what it's doing. Now we're going to go to my bots and we can see our bot here, Grid Trader. And if we want, we can configure it. We can run this on a different exchange or a different trading pair. We can set different high and low grid levels. We can change the number of grid levels. It's really up to you. And there we have it. So we've just created a trading bot on the Kraken Exchange using the popular trading bot strategy known as grid trading. Thank you and good luck trading.